Captain Skidmore, AGS here. Today we're going to talk about the organization subsystem. Here you are at the EDAS main menu screen. Please navigate to enter option desired, enter O, and press enter. Okay. So a lot of information goes into the org data query screen or organization data query screen, but I've got to say it's one of my favorite screens in EDAS. And this is why. The top of the screen allows you to search by PUD and DD, which is listed as a parent unit designator or descriptive designator. I know I'm speaking French to some of you, so let me break this down. EDAS has allowed you the capability to search by battalion. I know I just blew your mind. Give yourself a second. PUD is your Battalion. Think of PUD as the second, third, and fourth quarter of a UIC. Okay? So let's say it's AYP. The second, third, and fourth character of a UIC. Remember that. Now, if you enter DD at this stage, then you're searching for a company, and we don't really need to do that. But let's say you want to search for your battalion, and we'd be in business. The great thing about the organization data screen is this. The output for this screen is everything to do with organizations or installations. What I mean by that is this. You come to organization data query when you want to know how many battalions are in a brigade, how many brigades are in a division, how many divisions or on an installation, or how many UICs are on an installation, or how many UICs are at a location. Make sense? Let's try it. Remember, I entered the second, third, and fourth characters of my UIC in the PUD. Press enter. The top right hand um, section of the screen explains to you how many records your search has found. In other words, how many subsequent UICs have been found under the PUD that you entered? Let's say I don't want a detailed review, I just want a one line report. Put a three here and then press enter. This is the output. You'll see the UPC listed. It's giving you the PUD and the DD. Remember, the DD is the identifier for a company. Okay, so this is Alpha Company. This is Bravo Company. See what I mean? We don't need that level of data here, at least not for this query. All I wanted to know was how many units are in this particular battalion. And I answered that question. There are 20. Now I'd like to return to our OQ screen or organization query screen. So please press F3 and press F3 again. That's how you search by battalion in EDAS. The middle part of this screen allows you to search by unique values. Pay particular attention to the OR, meaning you cannot utilize this part of the screen and this part of the screen to run a query. You have to use OR. Utilize this screen if you want to search by battalion. Utilize this screen if you'd like to search by division or location, PPA. Some people might use Orgra, so on and so forth. An example of this is the latter. Say I want to know how many UICs exist in 82nd Airborne Division. I'd come in here and enter the following code or field value, 82 Delta. I'd press enter. You're right, there's 282 UICs associated with that division. Let's go back to F3. Let's say I wanna know how many UICs are currently on location at Fort Bragg. The field value for Fort Bragg is, PP, for Fort Bragg is LA, under PPA is the screen name. You can HK this data. We're gonna enter LA and then press enter. 
You are correct. There are 4,548 UICs that exist on that installation. Remember, I'm just showing you how to pull that data, these UICs. If you would like to, you can run a one-line report, select three, press enter, and it'll give you all the information associated with that UIC at that location. But we don't need that right now. Press F3 and press F3 again. Say we'd like to search by brigade. You'd like to know how many UICs exist in a brigade. We're going to use 182 and press enter. 52 exist, 52 UICs. You press enter again, you'll get a one-line report for all 52 UICs. And it'll give you all of the data associated with those UICs at this location. Press F3 and press F3 again. And that is what you can do on the OQ screen.